Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video. Series of videos where we take a look at some more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. Boiler clock, meh, I'm not apologising for it. You've seen that or you've heard that long enough. Anywho, what do I have to eat this week? Do you remember a few weeks ago uh, when I tried the twisted footlong pigs in blankets and I told you, in fact I've told you in many of these videos that I really wanted to try their Yorkshire pudding filled lasagna but simply could not get it. My mouth's gone. I'm such a predictable fucktard. Pavlov's dogs. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and I couldn't get it anywhere. Then a couple of weeks ago the lady in the Icelands that I um, visit or frequent I should say in my neck of the woods said they've been discontinued. Well, Anywho, yesterday I had to go to Western, so I did two things. Uh, well, actually, I did one thing, and then by luck, there was an Iceland by this place that I went into. Um, I know that there's a Tim Hortons in Western. I haven't had a Tim Hortons for 16 years uh, since I left Canada. Uh, and they're not that sort of um, popular over here. When I say popular, they're not that sort of frequent. They're not everywhere. In fact, I've only seen one uh, in in those 16 years and it's in Western Supermare and it used to be a pub but now it's a Tim Hortons so it looks like a really funky Tim Hortons and basically I was driving down West and I was in the dual carriageway and I went there's that Tim Hortons so I drove in and I had myself um, a flat white my favorite coffee decaf of course uh, and um, yeah that's my first Tim Hortons in 16 years and it was tasty and delicious but right next to it was an Iceland. So yeah, I thought I'll have a look in this Iceland and, well it's obvious isn't it, it's in the title, it's in the description and I'm setting this up aren't I? <laughs> Guess what they have? They had a twisted lasagna filled Yorkshire pudding. That's seen on social media. Like, hell yes, I'm all over this. Now I know um, that when I couldn't get it, the lady told me they'd been discontinued. This was four quid, mind, four quid. It's 370 grams. I'm dying here, absolutely dying, which is not particularly heavy. Your standard ready meal that goes around about two quid is sort of usually 400 grams, but it's 370 grams. Anyway, I'll shut up, right? So, um, yeah, lost my thread. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, so I checked what I, you know, like a couple of videos on YouTube and I sat in my car and everyone said it tastes like cardboard, filled with cardboard and covered in grated cardboard. But the thing is, since I saw this, and it was literally the only one there, um, so was it in the wrong place? I don't know, I walked around all the freezers, because, you know, Iceland is a regional thing, so some places have different stuff to other places. Looking at you, Carolina Reaper Pie, they never showed up in the south. Um, so I thought, fuck it, you got to make up your mind for yourself. Taste, after all, is subjective. You wouldn't actually know that, would you, if you saw half the people on fucking YouTube and social media. <laughs> But so I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna give this bad boy a go. Let's have a quick look. Anyway, before we have, well, fuck it, there you go. It doesn't look too half bad, does it? I don't think it does. There's reasonable heft to it. I do like giant Yorkshire puddings. There are a couple of ready meals out there. Um, Brains Faggots used to do a um, ready meal, which was a giant Yorkshire pudding with mashed potato, peas, and two faggots, and it was banging, but because I liked it, it got di discontinued. Anyway. Twisted, unserious food tastes seriously good. I've seen on social media. Um, where? I've never seen you on social media. Apparently they have five million followers. Where? That's a lot of people and I've never seen you on social media. Anyway, we're Twisted, a team of food obsessed um, pioneers. Pioneers, a bit of a strong descriptive term for mixing two polar opposites in a ready meal, but I digress. Um, uh, with one mission to make food as fun and social as possible well making food as social as possible would be eating outside wouldn't it and also apparently they've got 40 million followers i call bullshit um 
40 million followers can vouch for us, so whack this in the oven and concentrate on the best bit, enjoying yourself. How to cook serves one. 45 minutes. Marge, I want it now. Um, for best results, cook from frozen, yada yada yada, oven from frozen, preheat oven, uh, fan 100 degrees Celsius, gas mark 6, we can off the Fahrenheit. Recover, remove, recover, remove out of packaging and film lid, place on um, a baking tray in the middle of the oven, preheated baking tray, on it this time, on it, also is not mocking me, it's preheated. Uh, and yeah, 45 minutes, stand for one minute before serving. Ingredients, yolks are pulling 25%, I will bloody coca. Wheat flour, wheat flour, calcium uh, carbonates, iron, niacin, thiamine, egg white, pasteurised, liquid white egg. Get on that science. Um, well, I'm not reading this. There's no, oh, sorry, squeaky shoes. There's no hot shit in this whatsoever. So let's bang that bad boy into oven. I'm going to do the weather and shit and hot sauce corner and crisp corner. That's what they're called for now. I've never said it before, but that's what I'm going to do um, while I start cooking this because it's going to take a bloody long time. So and I'm fucking dying. As is Robert. Robert says hello. Hello. Right. Um, Stop watch, come on phone. Stop watch. Bosh. Right, oh shit, why am I showing you now? We haven't done anything yet. That bad boy into oven. Right, so it is coming up to quarter past two. Um sorry, doing inner maths in my head, but you don't need to know any of that. Just working out, you know. Because I only just had breakfast recently, but fuck it, I am absolutely starving. We'll keep that for comparisons. Anyway, I'm trying to cut down on Eddie's bar, but my buying something and then polishing off something is working out quite well. Uh, and also, um, you would think, that's a bit difficult, isn't it? I have to polish off a bottle that quickly. Not if you see how much shit I put on uh, chicken nuggets, which is my favourite meal in the world ever. Anyway, let's have a look at Eddie's bar. Welcome to Eddie's Bar. Just one new addition to Eddie's Bar this week. When I was in Western yesterday, um, because if you park in Tesco's and you spend over three pounds, when you get your receipt, they uh, give you a second receipt that gives you three hours free parking in their car park and then you key it in at the end when you leave on a machine on the wall. It's a brilliant system, absolutely brilliant system. People are obviously going to park in your car park Tesco's even if they're not going to shop in your store so why not make some money out of them? Supermarket thinking with its head for a change. And I saw this because I immediately checked their hot sauce section just in case you know, I haven't been in Tesco's in a fortnight, in case they had anything uh, knocking around that I haven't seen. Tesco's Chili Mail. This was £1.60, maybe 70 wasn't too expensive. And I love myself my um, chili mayonnaise, so I thought I'd give this a go, uh, as I haven't tried it. It doesn't have a, it says spicy kick, it doesn't have a chili rating on it. It's really, 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 really nice. I would say it's just short of the charms of this bad boy, but this is brilliant. This is pretty much is good and tastes the same, I would say, is Supercharger Mayo from KFC, but unfortunately they don't sell that in jars anymore and they're missing a bloody trick. Anyway, let's have a look at the weather. So it's all overcast and shit like that, as you can see at the moment. It's been sunny all week, which annoys me greatly, but it is supposed to rain later on when we hit five o'clock to the early hours of the morning. So I will take that because currently it's about 18, 19 degrees out there and it's muggy as tits. However, however, because we pretty much are in, I am aware summer starts mid-June, but as far as I'm concerned, we're in summer. So they're already giving us weather warnings because if the end of next week is going to hit 25 degrees, then at the start of June, it's going to give us a couple of weeks heat wave of 30 degrees and I'm just oh, fuck it two things about that we can expect nothing but smug motherfuckers on their couches on breakfast TV going over to the weather person and go any good news with the weather and that smug person goes yes we're gonna have 30 degrees blah 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 blah, blah. but you better put your sunblock on but you better not go out during the midday sunshine but you better make sure that you open windows but you better make sure you drink lots of fucking water because this is what the fucking media do it pisses me off every fucking year and as soon as I saw that uh, on the uh, 
uh, tinsel webs, the, the long weather forecast, long term weather forecast. I thought, oh, for fuck's sake, we're just going to get this snowflake shite again because the public ourselves, we cannot be trusted to look after ourselves. So every fucking smug weather bastard and morning breakfast person on a fucking TV channel was going to tell us how we should survive during this hot weather because apparently before TV was a thing, we never managed to do it. And this, this is part and parcel why I hate summer because it's going to be hot. I'm not going to be able to fucking sleep. And then we're just going to have constant snowflakes telling us how to fucking survive during summer. I mean, what the fuck? But what did these people do? You know, before there was TV. Did this used to happen back in the day on the radio? Of course not. Because once upon a time, none of us were a bunch of fucking pussies. And none of the fucking wokes existed. Anyway, something else. I've got a whole bunch of fucking crisps. So, yes, in Crisp Corner this week, as you know, I take my lunch at work at 3.15 in the morning. So in order to get to that time at 3.15 in the morning, because I start work at 10 o'clock, don't know why I'm speaking this quickly, I eat a whole fuck all bag of crisps. Because I generally have my lunch, and my, my supper, my tea, or whatever, probably technically, um, yeah, my lunch. It would be dinner or ordinarily, but it's lunch before I go to work at around about half past eight. Anyway, so... Um, when I was in Western, I went to a corner shop I've never ever seen before because when you see these, I say that, it was pretty big, it was the old Argus on the corner, you know, over from Cast Generators, if, you, near the seafront, <laughs> if anyone's ever been to Western and was curious. And I forget what it's called, but it's quite big, but, you know, it's got lots of what I like to call off-brand stuff that you've generally never ever heard of. So I walked in there and deliberately went to the crisp aisle. Before that though, I did go to Marks and Spencer and I picked up these because Marks and Spencer's nachos have form. These aren't hot, but... Um, I do like cheese nachos, and so I thought I would give these a go. But little did I know, also someone at work last week who knows that people are like hot food, it's like a fraternity. Share, you know, any little tidbits, information, secrets that you come across with the other people who like it. So my mate at work, her husband, um, I've, you know, recommended a bunch of stuff to him. He um, tried the, he watched my video and then he tried the Carolina Reaper um, rack of ribs from Asda and loved them. So on his travels, at the pub he went to, he picked up these Hot Shots Extreme Chili Pork cracking, uh, Crackling, The Ghost, Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid. So I was planning on doing a video on these. Now herein lies the problem, right? Because after that, I went into this store and I was going to get the Cheetos, because I saw Jalapeno American Cheetos, and I thought, oh yes, and then I saw this. And I'm assuming these are American, because they say family made in the USA. Extra hot. Uh... It says choose your heat and they're on red so hers hers carolina reaper flavored um cheesy puffs what's it don't know then i saw these which just fiery hot jumbo puffs um baked not fried so they're healthy for you and hot and i thought yeah i'll have these these are all quid and change but they are import i didn't think that was too expensive then i saw these hers hairs carolina reaper um did I just buy two of the same thing? I think I bought a big bag and a small bag. Fuck it, I can live with that. Unless they're shit. Um, yeah. So, never mind. Uh, and then, then I saw these, which is hers, hers. Don't know, if you're American and you watch this, or one of you, then let me know. Crunchy cheese sticks, Carolina Reaper flavour, extra hot. So, I would think there's some sort of possible collection one-off big fucking crisp video is in order or something like that i don't know but i've got an awful lot of hot uh crisps and yeah so i don't know i'll think of something by all means suggestions also i saw this because yeah i know i don't want to be like the bandwagon and shit like that but probably would make this a video by itself um just out of curiosity just worked out it's shaped like a coffin uh, never seen it before anywhere. I haven't seen it on YouTube. I haven't seen it on Amazon stuff like that. People who work have told me certain places to sell it. Never ever come across them myself. It was in this store. They were all like a quid and change and shit. This was a tenner. This was a tenner. But fuck it. I'm sure people wanted me to do this. So we'll give it a go. It's an import. Imported and distributed by the Candy King Limited. The Candy King .uk, Just in case you were interested. Anyway. Hey look. Check it out. That killed eight minutes. I'm going to come back in in 22 minutes. Tiny dying and rotate it just because i don't know i didn't feel like i leave it you know you know like just in there as it is then maybe one side's gonna burn maybe one side isn't i don't know but it doesn't hurt to rotate these things does it so i'm gonna piss off next door uh and what is on tv i think i think 
it's bangers and cash, but it's the one where they restore classic cars. So that's banging, pun intended. So anyway, see you in uh, 15 or so minutes. Up to 22 minutes. There is a beefy-ish smell in here. I'm not going to lie. If someone told me they were cooking lasagna, um, I don't know if I could as far as to say that's exactly what it smells like, but it does smell rather, rather pleasant. So let's have a look at this bad boy. We're at the halfway stage, so this is going to give us some indication, I guess, of whether or not this is going to be a stinker. Right, so halfway stage. I'm going to go and finish the rest of Bangers and Cash. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to look like that. Having seen it halfway through, and I know we've got another 22 minutes or 22 and a half minutes, uh, or technically 23 minutes because I didn't do a half on that one, did I? Um, but it didn't look like that, did it? Anyway, gotta, gotta, you know, taste is subjective. Um, you know, taste is acquired and shit like that. Um, is a taste is not preference; it's acquired. So, gonna put the you know the negative videos out of my head. Gonna put the put the negative videos out of my head. I'm gonna justice for ourselves, well myself, and then I'm gonna probably pass on to you um, negative views. Anyway, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Coming up to 45 minutes, and I am absolutely ravenous, uh, as is Roberts. Um, the smell in it, I could definitely smell cheese now, but again, if you told me you were cooking lasagna, I would never have guessed it. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping um, that the two reviews that I saw were wrong, because on paper, I really like the idea of a giant Yorkshire pudding filled with lasagna. I love Yorkshire puddings. Fucking love them dying here. Uh, I love lasagna. I understand that the best lasagna to get is not a frozen lasagna. The best lasagna to get is my mum's lasagna. But this is Fat Friday. I'm not fucking Gordon Ramsay. What do you expect? <laughs> well, I'm not Gordon Ramsay because I'm not a massive cock womble and I pay tax. Anyway, let's get this bad boy out of the oven. Right. You go off. And then... Did he get away with it? Ooh, he got away with it. That doesn't smell too bad now. Doesn't smell too bad now. Did I? Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I'd say it was burnt. But, right, you shut. Probably need a sharp knife for this. And we'll need a fork. It's cooked. Right, so let's get this out of sure. Okay, so let's try not to massively burn myself here. Right, so you go there. You go over there. I'm going to resist my OCD to wash that. Let's get a plate. Um, how easy is this going to come out? Look at that. Suddenly... When I pick it up like that, I'll have to wash this and put it in the recycling. Suddenly when I pick it up like that, it really doesn't seem too big, does it? Look. Look at that. Shallow B9. That's four quid, mind. That's four quid. Right, let's, let's get a cut into this. It smells pretty good actually now. No idea what happened to my camera then, um, but you know, let's carry on. Right, so the Yorkshire pudding, I don't know where that got cut off, but I tried a bit of Yorkshire pudding. Let's break some off now. The Yorkshire pudding itself is perfectly serviceable Yorkshire pudding. It's fantastic. And probably the best experience of that lasagna Excuse me, manners, um, is when it coats the Yorkshire pudding. However, we'll get a proper hit of lasagna now. But the piece I just tried, better cleanse <clears throat> was, ooh, it just tasted of pasta. I couldn't even taste any beef. No, I got some beef out. A little bit of tomato. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know if I... <coughs> Wrong hole. Awkward. <coughs> I don't know if I'd say that's the plainest lasagna I've ever had. But, 
I've definitely had better ready meal lasagnas. I really have. There's too much pasta, not enough cheese, and they should have um, doubled up on the beef. Hang on. However, when it's on the actual Yorkshire pudding, this is when you can see that this, this is a good idea. Because it's not bad. Excuse me. Right. The other two videos I watched when they said this is like eating um, grated cardboard on top of more cardboard with a layer of cardboard. I don't know if I go that far. It's, it's a pretty plain lasagna. But it does have, you know, a moderate level of taste in it. It's too small for four pounds. It's most definitely not worth four pounds. It's saving grace is the Yorkshire pudding. That's the one bit they got absolutely right. Basically, this is made to a cost, isn't it? Which they have not passed on to you because it's four quid. But um, more cheese, more sauce, more beef. And it'd be all right, which is everything that's not ready meal lasagna, I guess. So, I mean, I'm glad I tried it. I wouldn't have it again, even if it wasn't discontinued. Don't think it's as bad as other people have said. Um, I don't think, you know, I don't think it's completely devoid of taste. But if I was going to have a lasagna, I'd have my mum's. Also, if I was going to have a ready meal lasagna, I'd have Bisto's lasagna, honestly. Um, it's really, really good. I don't know, my road nose is running, there's no heat this whatsoever. You could make this yourself. You could go to a supermarket, right? And you could buy a giant Yorkshire pudding for, like, what? Less than a quid. Um, probably a quid now with, you know, uh, inflation and shit. And then you could go to the freezer section and just buy, uh, which you're already in because you just bought a giant Yorkshire pudding, I'm aware of that. Uh, then buy, like, a Bisto fucking lasagna and bang it in yourself. It would then be only three pounds... So still a quid cheaper, and it would taste a lot better than this. But I, um, I won't be having it again. But I don't think it's as shit as other people say. If it was cheaper, if it was like two pounds fifty, then it would probably be all right. But as it stands, twisted um, Yorkshire pudding, uh, well, lasagna filled Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, it's all right. But that's about it. Nothing to write home about. Won't be having it again. Have, have had far better ready meal frozen lasagnas, but the Yorkshire pudding bit's all right. I don't know. Uh, anyway, as always, I locked in on a thing, especially if you've had this, or maybe I locked out and I got the one that actually tastes of something. But yeah, yeah, I'd love to know what you think if you've had it. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.